As we celebrate 50 years of hip hop, we want to bring you the story of an icon who's often considered your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. The DOC was the unofficial sixth member of the rap group NWA. He collaborated with the likes of Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and so many more. But his career was derailed after a car crash severely damaged his voice 34 years ago. Now he's getting a new sound. He spoke with CBS Saturday Morning co-host Michelle Miller about the tragedy and his groundbreaking steps toward new music. High energy, born with the wisdom, sense of a rich man, knowledge and the rhythm. True hip-hop heads know the DOC as a master, an artist who cranked out some of rap's most iconic lyrics. When I'm expressing my thoughts on, body, you can help but listen up and get caught on. And did so without the use of profanity. A rising star in the late 1980s, he started collaborating with other up-and-comers, most notably Dr. Dre's N.W.A. When I was writing those songs, I put my name in every damn song. Like my homie GOC, no one can do it better like this, that, and this, and a... Born Tracy Curry, the DOC ghost wrote verses on several of their hits, including tracks on the Straight Out of Compton album. I'm coming straight out of Compton, Compton, How does a, a Dallas-born rapper become, like, down with West Coast rap? The radio DJ here put Dre and I in the same space together. And when, when we got together, we just felt at home, you know, like he made music and I made words. In 1989, he released his own album, emerging from N.W.A.'s shadow. You were that rising star in 1989. I was living that life, girl. I was doing my thing. <laughs> The album peaked at number 20 on the Billboard 200 chart. But three months after it was released, his life turned upside down. You were driving down the highway after an all-nighter. I was shooting a video to a song called The Formula, and someone on the, on the set of that video offered me an illegal substance, and, and, and I took it. And then over the next 24 hours, had a really amazing ride that ended with that crash. Curry's vocal so cords were severely him. damaged, leaving him with the raspy voice you hear today. While it ended his career as a master MC, he continued to write for and mentor some of rap's now favored sons. Still, he struggled for the next 30 years with depression. You blamed yourself. Absolutely. That's why I was in that stupor for so long trying to find my way back to a voice that was never meant to come back. His story, The Doc, is now a documentary, which premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival last year. Why did you feel it was necessary for people to understand your story, your path? That's what life gave me to work with. It features rap superstars Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, and Eminem. Checking it, always getting paid because the rap is sort of a twist. Between what you need and what I mean. Those longtime friends and his former partner of five years, R&B singer Erica Badu, helped him get through that difficult time. Erica had cleaned me up. She made me a, a better person. She made me a great father. They share a 19-year-old daughter and remain close friends, as we discovered walking through his hometown of Dallas. It's Erica. Erica Badu. That was your girl. That's right. See how she's always around. Yeah. Um, but. Oh my gosh, you couldn't have written that better. It means everything. That everything now includes his wife, Shella, their two sons, and an older daughter from a previous relationship. At 55, the DOC isn't giving up on reclaiming his voice. A shot he got thanks to an old friend. Sam Freddy asked me if I would be interested in building an album using AI technology. I just felt it was a no-brainer 
for somebody like him to have an opportunity to kind of bring some music to the world. Fab Five Freddy connected Curry to the AI company Suno. The world ain't ready for this. That's, that's the closest one. And its CEO, Mikey Shulman. We're teaching the machine um, what Doc used to sound like. We witnessed the early stages in Dallas. When this thing happens, it sounds like a real me. Curry will record music and Suno will use his voice from older songs to make it match what he sounded like before the accident. Aren't there ethical issues here? Of course I think this one is a slam dunk. Letting Doc recreate the voice that he has in his head that he's not been able to get out there for the last 35 years, I can think of no better use of this technology than that. Curry is living in that hope, but also in the lessons of his life. What does it feel like to be up against that mic? It's still home. You know, I've been doing this since I was 16 years old, but I wanted to be the greatest of all time. And AI might be giving me another shot at the title. I'm the D into the O and the O and to the C and the C and to the period.